and welcome back to another end up other video. Today we are talking about the first of two storms that have formed. This one being in the East Pacific, being Tropical Storm Linda, which currently has maximum sustained winds of 50 miles an hour, minimum central pressure of 1,001 millibars, and is moving west northwest at 9 miles an hour. So let's get right on into it. Starting off with all the way down here are warnings and cone now so far we do have a tropical storm but very quickly this will form into a hurricane possibly maybe category two category three this could be a very powerful system the good news is, is that primarily this will be a fish storm there are some islands off the coast of western mexico that will be affected by this storm but there will be no major mainland impacts. So that is a good thing. Now, in terms of the arrival time of winds, with wind speed probabilities turned on, you can see that the probability of tropical storm force winds is above 50% through Saturday at 8 p.m. At that point, of course, it's five days out, so we do have more uncertainty at that point. But if we go to our wind speed probabilities and turn on one, the hurricane wind speed probabilities we have a good 30% already and this storm hasn't even gotten close to that number of 75 miles an hour so there is some confidence in this becoming a hurricane in the next 120 hours 5 days so let's move on so here is Tropical Storm Linda, and you can see that this is a big storm. And we have, let's actually reload this real quick. All right, there we go. So you can see a huge plume of thunderstorm activity right on the northwest side of the storm. That means that this storm is intensifying quickly because look at the sheer size of that thunderstorm plume right there. And it pops up very quickly. So, very well developed storm at this point. So, now Linda is intensifying and is forecast to be a hurricane late tomorrow. So, that can show you the entire picture there. But we're going to go into more detail with our current storm information. Starting off with our global and hurricane models. And you can see that this storm is going to start to move toward the northwest and then eventually come back toward that western path. The GFS, the GEFS takes that a little bit sharper and then has it doing a northwestern turn yet again. So we have this going right around west, then moving up to the northwest until about 20 degrees north and then going up again until about 25 degrees north. Now, the GEPS shows that northwestern track up to 20 degrees north, and then it's just flattening out there. So, no second turn to the northwest. So, here is the intensity guidance. Now, there are some outliers here showing tropical storm force the entire lifespan, and also a category 4 storm. But the general consensus is a strong category 1 to a mid range category 2. That's our range given the mean, the median of all of these model runs, just excluding all of the outliers. Now, the European is showing that second turn to the northwest, just like the GEFS is. So you can see it goes northwest up to 20 degrees north, stays there for a little bit, and then right at about 130 degrees west, it starts to move up a little bit further to the north to about 23 degrees north so here is the hwrf hurricane model for this storm so let's just take a look and let's actually update this real quick actually i might actually be able to use this one no i will not okay uh here we go so 999 millibars so this has the storm intensifying and you can see that it will continue to intensify 990 here this is throughout the evening on wednesday 
and it goes all the way down to 980 by early morning on Thursday and now we're getting toward 15 degrees north this should be where we see that category 2 category 3 strength 976 millibars and declining now we're at 968 millibars you can see a nice little eye wall in there uh, with those thunderstorms this is moving into Friday and we're still in the 960s and we're at 18 degrees north you can see this is a very large storm multiple rounds of thunderstorms around the center of the storm moving into Saturday we're getting toward that 20 degrees north marker where things usually start to weaken and you can see that now we're in the 970s and increasing so let's take a look here what that does to wind speed so let's go all the way back here and you can see tropical storm force winds then we see some hints of hurricane force throughout the day Wednesday and that gets more consistent throughout the day on Thursday now moving into Friday we get into those 960s and you can see that we get into those lighter shades of purple that could be coming into some category 2 hurricane strength and then finally on Saturday we start to see this weaken back into a strong tropical storm so even though this is a fish storm this could be one of our more intense hurricanes so far this year in the East Pacific which has had a very active hurricane season so far so what do you think about this storm comments in the comment section down below and if you like this video consider leaving a like subscribing and hitting the bell but that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.